How does having a family member with LBD increase a person's risk of developing the disease? I think one of the things that we've looked for for many years is a gene mutation that actually causes DLB. Are there single genes? We've seen this in Alzheimer's, we see it in Parkinson's. Haven't really seen it convincingly in dementia with Lewy bodies. Uh, what we have seen are that certain genes seem to increase the risk for getting it. Um, now you have to remember that the risk is relatively low as a, from a whole population point of view. Let's say it's one in a hundred, maybe your risk goes up to five to ten in a hundred, but you're still in a one in ten, one in twenty risk factor. So we are starting to find some genes that, that tell us who's at increased risk. Um, we don't know why one in ten get it and why those nine in ten don't. Presumably there are other genes or environmental factors that play a role there. Uh, that's what we need to do more research to discover. We have found that there are some common genetic variants that seem to increase or decrease your risk a, a bit. Um, some of them linked actually to Alzheimer's, some linked to Parkinson's disease. Um, there are very rare, I want to say very rare gene uh, mutations where it does seem to increase your risk dramatically for either Parkinson's or dementia with Lewy bodies and I think that's intriguing from a scientific point of view that there are gene mutations that if you get that you may start with Parkinson's, you may start with dementia with Lewy bodies with the same gene mutation. But I'd like to emphasize that those are extremely rare and it's usually pretty obvious in the family that this is 50 percent of the family members for generations have been getting one of these diseases. Are there any early warning signs that suggest someone is at risk of developing LBD? Well, one that's gathered a lot of attention is the sleep disorder, the REM sleep disorder. People act their dreams out at night, and that can happen even decades before um, the DLB or the Parkinson's kicks in. It's very much linked to having the Lewy bodies in the brain. So uh, uh, we know that can happen for quite a long time. I guess the downside or the positive side is some patients with that will go many decades before they develop symptoms. I remember seeing patient recently who had had 30 years of symptoms and had not yet developed dementia with Lewy bodies or Parkinson's disease, but they're definitely at increased risk, so that's one of those things that should be looked for. It's important in that context to recognize that some sleep disorders will imitate REM sleep disorders, particularly obstructive sleep apnea will, so it's good to see a sleep doc, get an appropriate evaluation, and make sure this is actually REM sleep disorder and not some other sleep disorder that's imitating it um, before you decide that you are at higher risk for Lewy body disease. Um, although loss of sense of smell has been linked, the problem there is just a lot of older people lose their sense of smell and so it's not very specific and, and there are lots of reasons for people to lose their sense of smell. I think obviously Parkinsonism, some motor changes, um, and the cognitive changes can be fairly subtle and often the patients recognize it before the, the family members do because it's not memory like Alzheimer's, it's more processing speed, um, getting off track more easily, having trouble multitasking, these kinds of things, subtle things that often the patient will notice and the family may not or even co-workers for example. What can someone do to reduce their risk of getting LBD? The only thing I can say there, we don't know that there's anything they can do to specifically affect the Lewy body changes in the brain, uh, but we do know that people who stay in better shape, who are more generally medically healthier, do tend to resist the onset of disease better than those who are, are ill in another way. I always think, again, it gets back to this reserve issue. You're lowering your reserve as you get these disorders superimpose something else on top of it, like a heart problem or a pulmonary problem oxygen problem, those sorts of things, then you're more likely to exhibit the symptoms. So um, keeping yourself in as good a shape, so to speak, from a physical point of view and even from a mental point of view, uh, the better. <laughs>